Hello guys, I'm Jai Rai, and today I'm going to be showing you how I color grade my Osmo Pocket 3 footage uh, in D-Log M. I'm going to be using DaVinci Resolve 19 Beta, the latest version, and I'm going to be using an effects called Film Looks Creator. I'm not going into great detail about my camera settings at the moment because that can be a whole different video. For now, I'm just going to be showing you what I do to color grade my footage in DaVinci. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. So the first thing we want to do is look for Film Looks Creator and drag it over to our node now we want to do a color space transform which is here um, the input color space can be DJI D gamut input gamma can be either gamma 2.4 or rec 709 the output can be rec 709 as well as the output gamma now I'll put white point, we can set that to 55 just because I want my image to look warmer. And now you can see like the image is a lot more uh, warmer. Now for the film look, we want to use Rochester. So the color settings here is what we'll be messing with the most. Uh, exposure, I'm not going to change here because it looks good enough, but I just need to change the highlights here. But um, I do want to reduce the contrast, so we'll do that. I think there looks good. Now we want to reduce the highlights because I don't like uh, how the whites are like super bright in this image. So we're going to reduce this by a lot. Okay, zero it is. Now for the fade, I think this messes with the, the shadows a bit. So I'm going to reduce it. about there white balance we're not really gonna mess with because i have that set in camera the tint i'm not really gonna mess with either uh, i do want to mess with subtractive sat i think i'm gonna reduce this by a tad about there and for richness i think i want to increase this by a little bit too about there for split tone uh, uh, i'm not go really gonna mess with split toning at the moment so we're just gonna leave that as is vignette i kind of like the vignette that it gives so we'll leave that on halation and bloom um for this particular scene i don't want it on so we're gonna turn it off here now for grain i'm not really a fan of uh grain so i'm gonna leave it off Flicker, um, we're just gonna leave that on because I don't really know what it does. For gate weave, I don't know what that does either, so I'm just gonna leave that on. But for film gate, uh, we're gonna keep off because it does this uh, framing that I don't like, which honestly doesn't look good. And yeah, we pretty much dialed in our settings. And now what we could do is copy these settings and apply it to our other clips. Now all we have to do is adjust it for each individual clip. Like for here, um, I can reduce the exposure of the overall image because it's a bit too bright for me. How about there, it looks good. And we can, since this scene has lights um we can actually turn on the halation and bloom so it'll make those lights pop a bit more um but yeah that's pretty much my workflow it's not a very complicated workflow at all it's just a very simple one and hopefully you guys get results that you want out of this film look trader i know i certainly do and hopefully this video helps you guys um i guess color grade your your osmo pocket footage a lot easier and yeah i wasn't really going to go into a great detail with this video but i just wanted to post this video out because a lot of people have been asking me about color grading osmo pocket footage so um here i am showing you guys how i do it but yeah that's all for now um i'll see you guys in the later video whenever that is so yep laters